Yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Mumbley. Hopefully you're having a fantastic day. We are back with another video and this time we are going to be doing the player um, cheapest solutions for Marcus Lonzo. Now, he has two separate cards. He has the 88, rate, 88 rated version that's here for two days. Um, you only need one 85 rated team for that. That's not what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing his flashback uh, Marcus Lonzo premium card. Now, if you don't know what a premium card is, basically EA just released this concept. It takes the idea of celebrating his Team of the Season card from FIFA 17 that probably wasn't his rating back then. Um, but then this one, they juiced it up to what I think he was during the actual Team of the Season in FIFA 17. Now, what do I think about this? This card right now is going for about 270,000 coins. Um... The first team's going for about 60K. The second one's going for about 200K. Let me confirm that with Footbin real quick. Um, yeah, it's looking like that right now. So the first team, actually, let's get into what his stats are. So you have a lot of tradable version of leftbacks available in the EPL. I wouldn't recommend doing him unless you're a first owner um, club like myself, trying to find ways to link people in, or you're a Chelsea fan. Or if you have the coins and want to do them, by all means. Do I think he's worth it right now? No, but it's something that you can grind over time with the league SVCs and get done without really having to spend too many coins besides going through league SVCs and getting special cards. So take your time with it. He's left-footed, three-star skill moves, three-star weak foot. Stats look relatively good across the board. Pace has a nice increase from the other card. Shooting has really great stats, especially with the long shot taker ability. 97 shot power and 89 long shot. That's a really good card having come up the line. What is his high, high work rate? Okay, so he's very much an attacking back. He's still 3-3 three, three, though. Um, right now I have Marcelo who's 5-star skills. It's going to suck not having that 5-star skills, but I'm going to try to find a way to put them both in my squad. Um, passing really good across the board. Has really good free kick accuracy as well. Um, 97 curve. Ooh, that's insane. Dribbling is really good. Reactions, ball control, composure. Defending, way up there for defending. You wouldn't think stats would look that good on a wing back, but they are. Um, physical, love to see 99 stamina, especially at the pace of his card. Um, strength and aggression aren't the best with 86 and 85 and jump in 82, but he's going to be a player that if you put something for physical on, he's going to be able to muscle people off the ball come back. I think honestly, he'd make a better center back in a lot of cases, especially late game. So maybe try to sub him on later, have him be a super sub, kind of like Opara and see if you can stop those late runs from teams. But I, I don't want to go any further into that. I want to give you guys the video. So here we go. First team, you need Spain, minimum one team of the week players or team of the week moments, minimum of one team overall rating 84 and team chemistry 75. Like I say every video, you don't have to use the team I made, but this is for the moment the cheapest solution possible. If you have any of these players untradeable, you're just saving coins. Um, so Essentio and Goal, you have Rufier at left back, you got Albiol at that left center back, you got Mori's in form, taking care of that inform requirement, 81 rated at that right center back. Onana getting you absolutely no chem whatsoever, but just getting a nice little rating in the squad. You get Pereira right there at that right center mid spot. Um, you have Rodriguez at the cam spot. You have Saul at that left center mid spot. You have Limar at the left wing. Jovic at the striker. And PZ at the right wing. Now, all these players, none of them you do have to... You don't have to do any sort of position change or chemistry, which is nice. Um, if you get a card already in a different position, you might have to. But base position and cards, you should be good to go. Second team, you need a Premier League player one, um, overall rating 87 and team chemistry 60. Honestly, this is where League SBCs is going to help you a lot. If you can throw in some of those Sudamericana players and stuff, those 88 rateds, you're going to save a lot of coins. But if you're going strictly off of buying cards off the market, this is the way to go. I put Diego Costa in goal, get a nice link to PK and Sujio Busquets at center back positions. Mitrovic doesn't get you any rating whatsoever. But he's the cheapest 92 at the market, around 72 to 75K. Onana, again, at the right back spot just for rating. PZ at the right mid, um, no link whatsoever either. You got Isco at that cam spot. You have Asensio at left mid. Um, Rodri at CDM. Benzema at 
the left striker, and then Morata at the other striker. So if you guys did enjoy, feel free to smack the like button. That's the team. Again, highly recommend you do it slowly over time. There's absolutely no rush to do it. For me, um, I'm going to try to get him into my team now, but over time, I think he'll become a super sub. Yeah, hopefully you guys do enjoy him. If you do, do him. Um, he'll be here for the rest of the game. So it's been your boy, Mumbley, and I'm out. Peace.